Good evening, and welcome to ABC News, I'm David Muir. Tonight, we bring you live updates from both sides of the political spectrum, as Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump hit the campaign trail. While the focus is supposed to be on the candidates and their platforms, there's always a little extra flair, especially when Kamala Harris takes the stage. First up, we check in with Vice President Kamala Harris. She has energized, comparing her campaign to a pop song, fun, vibey, and a little unpredictable, but always with a message. Harris humorously vows to protect votes across swing states like Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Georgia. She draws a clear contrast between her forward-thinking vision and Trump's nostalgia for the past, all with her characteristic charm and humor. And let's not forget her running mate, Coach Walls, who brings a bit of dad energy and laughter to the scene, complete with jokes about Minnesota winters and a suit from Costco. The fun continues as Harris' husband, Doug, takes the stage, joking about his role as the second gentleman and his support for Kamala, even jokingly offering to cut his little bit but for being proud of supporting his wife. Doug brings levity to the rally, humorously expressing his excitement about decorating the White House for Hanukkah if Harris wins. Now, over to Donald Trump's rally. It has quite a different vibe. Trump enters the third hour of his speech, humorously acknowledging his love for long rallies and criticizing the left for, well, almost everything. He doesn't he hold back, with playful but biting remarks about his former opponent, Joe Biden, and his current opponent, Kamala Harris. Trump's rhetoric is as sharp as ever, lamenting the supposed chaos under the Democrats and giving his running mate, J. D. Vance, some questionable praise, likening him to a son he doesn't he particularly like, J. D. Vance takes the mic, echoing Trump's sentiments, but adding his own dry humor, poking fun at the media's portrayal of him, while rallying Trump's supporters. However, before things get too serious, the broadcast returns to Kamala Harris rally, where the dancing is winding down, but the spirit is still high. In the closing moments, we bring back Joe Biden, he's handed the reins over to Harris, but not without reflecting on his time in office, cracking a few jokes about his own presidency, and reminding everyone that there's still more work to do. In typical Biden fashion, he's candid, a bit meandering, but always sincere about his mission to help everyday Americans. That's all for tonight. As both rallies come to a close, one thing is clear, there's no shortage of energy or enthusiasm on the campaign trail. Whether you're tuning in for the policy, the humor, or the sheer spectacle, it's going to be an interesting race. For ABC News, I am David Muir. Good night.